really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. My new subscribers, hello, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you, please feel at home. Thank you so much for joining the family. And um, to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice. <laughs> you do to me on this specific channel I absolutely definitely don't take you for granted even one bit I don't know where to start guys I have got no idea of where I have to start this video today but let us first backtrack and let me remind you that this is my own channel myself on trending I started it without you guys <laughs> <laughs> you joined along the way because you probably like what you see, what you hear. I don't know what your reasons are. However, let me quickly remind you that this is my channel where I come out here to express my own opinion. My very own, own opinion. This is my opinion, guys. I'm brave enough to bring my face, put on my camera, speak and upload it and ready get ready for all the insults all the criticism alike so this is my own space i come here to discuss what i feel express my own opinions the way i look at things the way i want to react i am reacting according to how i understand what is put right here on the streets of course i most of the time will come with evidence okay so period I may say things that, you know, don't align with what you believe in or what you're thinking about. Now, that is your own problem. You have your own YouTube channel again. Please, feel free. <laughs> Pick what you want. Go speak it on your own YouTube space. It's simple. Simple, guys. I don't know why you feel the need to shove what you think down my throat. And yet, I say what I said. If I'm to be prosecuted, then... Let them do so by what I say on my own YouTube channel. So please, huh? if you are watching me, if you want to talk about me, if you want to agree or disagree, do it maturely in the comment section. I don't want people fighting. I don't want people calling each other names for what? Do I call people names, guys? If I have, please tell me, remind me, tell me. This timestamp, you said this and this and that. You may want me to come out here calling fellow the boy a scum and a thief. Those are very, very heavy words to use on one person. And I'm not talking like this because I'm supporting fellow the boy. Never. <laughs> In fact, fellow the boy, I told you right here on this street because this is where I meet with these Nabuhanse boys. If you are guilty, then you will be charged. Huh? You're going to be charged. If you didn't put down the receipts, all of them together to show where Mr. Uh, Sir Edwards, I did say Mr. LT, <laughs> Mr. LT, Litty, the 8.3 the million Kenya shillings, if you cannot account for it, like all of it, huh? bring out your receipts and say this is all the whole sum amount of what he sent me and this is where i've put it if you can't do that then you are going to be prosecuted huh people want to come here people want me to come here and start calling fellow the boy a thief and a scam there are people who are calling him that go support them go enjoy that content there where they are I said again, guys, I will not come here to just call someone a scam and a thief until or unless I see the receipts. I get evidence. That is the only reason and the only time I'll come right here and call someone a scam or a thief. Yes, I did a story. <laughs> you guys really hated me when I talked about Dim Wango and Lola's mattress. There is evidence there. I brought you the receipts of her borrowing money, asking for donations to buy Mama Lola, hmm? Grandma Lola, a mattress, and she didn't do that. Then I have a reason to come out here and say, she scammed you guys. She didn't use that money for what she asked it for. Period. So don't expect me to be coming and calling someone as scam and a thief and I on trending. 
have got no evidence i've got no receipts i've got no idea went what went down huh no idea of what went down between him fellow the boy and this sir edwards i've got no idea no idea if sir edwards came out by himself not using other people again okay if he came out and said these are my receipts these are the receipts i got from fellow the boy let's put them on the table and compare and this is what I'm accusing him for. Then I have a reason to come here and call fellow the boy. A thief liar scum. <laughs> but until that is done, please allow me to do my reaction in peace. Good Lord. Guys, do you know at times you sit back and you think this reaction thing is just jokes? It's not. It's absolutely not. I'm not coming to build stories in the air. I'm not coming to join dots here and just miss one or two links and then just make a, <laughs> a final conclusion. Absolutely not. You listen. And the way I react now is not the way I reacted when I started. In fact, when I started, I was not even reacting. I was just giving a summary of what has happened. Okay. But right now I'm looking at both sides, five sides. I'm not only looking at one side it's guys you know when i came out here to tell you guys that you know mara is putting up a GoFundMe for solar panels that is not going to be buying solar panels that money will be used in helping to finish his house and you called me names okay the GoFundMe was shut down but who aaron dante sent him money for the solar panels did he buy the solar panels so was I wrong in saying that the money he was asking for through a GoFundMe for solar panels and water system was for his own selfish use? Would I be wrong? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. So at times you look at someone and you learn huh, their way of life, their way of thinking, their way of manipulating people. And you can clearly one touch know what is going to be happening. At times, in an issue like this for fellow the boy and Sir Edwards, I cannot come here and call fellow the boy a liar, a scam, a thief, like you want me to do so, unless Sir Edwards clears the air. Besides, Sir Edwards said that this issue is being looked into. So what are we fussing about? Okay? Unless he comes out, unless he comes out and shows us that this is what I have, this is what fellow the boy sent, and I am missing about maybe 5 million Kenya shillings, 4 million, 3 to 500,000 shillings, then I can come here and call out fellow the boy strongly and tell him that, yo, you're a thief, scum, and a liar. But until that is done, guys, just to be mature and to think straight, like, a, like the way a normal person should. Don't expect me to be using these words that you want me to use. I'm not doing that. Period. You do that in your own YouTube space. Do not start forcing words into my mouth. I decide what I say right here. I decide how I do it. I decide when I do it. Period, guys. Okay? So anyways, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. A lot is happening back in Yabohanse, guys. We were just from fights yesterday. Uh, Zach and this Masuba one has, you know, they came out with this story. Masuba one came with a story that he was thooped. <laughs> you know my age now. <laughs> and he was thoroughly thooped by Zach. I said, I didn't see any receipts. I still have not seen any receipts. Maybe he was, maybe he was not. Maybe he's the one who started, who started the trouble. I don't know. But it is what it is. However, Zach, Pam, Bosco. Yes, Bosco and Pam of, what is that called? Joint hands uh, came out in support of fellow the boy. And fellow the boy was all uh, was also there. So there were four guys in this video, and this video was of course uploaded by Bosco and Pam. Okay, and they come out, they came out here to address this whole saga, this whole drama, and they're speaking of how they know fellow the boy from their own point of view, guys. You always have your own point of view. The way you look at me is not the way another person would look at me, period, okay? <laughs> some liked my laughter, some didn't like my laughter. 
Full stop. Another one said they don't like my forehead. Some don't even mind my forehead. It's simple. So everybody is entitled to their own opinion so long as you're not insulting anybody. Everybody is entitled to react on how they want to react. According to experience, according to how they see things. The way I react is not the way Kara will react or any other reactor will react. We are all different. We could have the same topic, same clips, same receipts, but everybody reaction is different. Everybody handles things differently most of the time. However, these people now came together to say that they support fellow the boy and when they were speaking, everybody had that time to come and express what they feel and pass a message to this guy called Sir Edwards, who's really bringing, you know, trouble, <laughs> like they say, in these YouTube streets. They've also said that he's now, now trying to cause confusion and fights and all these disagreements, breaking the bond of the Nyabohanse boys because he decided to pick on some boys to come out here to trash fellow the boy and call him a thief, liar, scum providing them with the receipts that he had from fellow the boy exposing the receipts and yet he did not come with proof from his own end okay as we speak you know guys that fellow the boy's account has been frozen and this and that a lot of things has happened i know you've had all those stories over and over again for almost now four days okay people are still talking about fellow the boy so now when bosco pamzak came to speak their mind and to support fellow the boy they came out here again to say that sir edwards should reverse his gears and allow fellow the boy to complete the project and i was like <laughs> why <laughs> i mean hello am i understanding something or am i not understanding because oh once you've been thrown under the bus collect yourself come with your evidence move that is how i would handle things most of you are saying that they should reverse he should come back he should fly into kenya sir edwards fly into the country and settle your differences because we were not there when you guys had an agreement we were not there when sir edwards was sleeping and god told him oh i've given you a son by the name of fellow the boy to be running your project huh? it was a revelation in his sleep so why again why why <laughs> what is this what is happening guys what is happening we were not in all those shenanigans but now you want to include everybody sending them receipts to come and burn fellow the boy but you why are you not doing all this dirty work why are you using people around to be doing all these dirty dirty things for you now i'll be playing us receipts today okay I'll be playing us receipts today. And by the way, guys, today is the last day I'm doing reaction. <laughs> it's the last day I am doing reaction as on trending, believe it or not. Okay, I'm going to be explaining to you why at the end of this video. Okay, so let us quickly go to the receipts that we have because there are things that were said here and my mind opened up and i started thinking of another person in this whole issue in this whole drama in this whole shenanigan in this tricky situation and this person is who i'm going to call out today this person by the name mike ventures yes mike ventures i've heard you i think twice we say twice on my own videos on my own interviews but today i want to be asking you a question okay i want to ask why you are the one who's been entrusted to be running this project why you why not someone else why not mayugno why not mapopo who else is doing things in this village people are constructing why not any other person but you why are you the only chosen second son, <laughs> now the ruling son, <laughs> of Mr. Sir Edwards? Is there something you're not saying? You are to put up a video, but you didn't put up a video. Why? Are you the one who went back, you know, behind fellow the boy, exposing everything towards Mr. Litty because you also want to be paid. You also want some money. You want something. At the end of this all, why are you the one to agree to run a project that already has 
some tricky situation penned on it. But before we get there, guys, okay, let us start with the receipts. <laughs> Today is the day, guys. <laughs> let us start with these receipts and then we proceed ahead, okay? Seven months. The seven months you have been working with him, he has not been having complaints with you, he has been calling you, son, he has been praying for you. Uh, each and every time we text each other. Sometimes he sent for me a message, son, I am cooking. He sent for me a message, son, I have got uh, this kind of style of cooking. So many things. But uh, after seven months, the last month now, we are almost to finish the project. Uh, he's telling me to give out uh, uh, the rest, uh, the keys and the project. So I'm not blaming him for that, but uh, he had a reason to do that. You know, sometimes uh, uh, it is good also some uh, other people to work with other people so that maybe later also they can come and regret and say, oh, I wish we could have used the one that we were using than this one that we are using. So thank you very much, guys, uh, for that information. It was just a brief that I wanted to brief to Bosco and also the viewers who are watching this video and uh, that uh, we are not afraid about anything because uh, it has already happened. And once it has happened, we have to wait now what will come. We are not running, we will not escape, but we will still remain where we are. So thank you guys, and uh, God bless you. Please maybe, maybe remember to support us. Sorry, yeah. sorry, maybe for the sake of our audience, yeah. it is also important to clarify to them, yeah. as far as you are concerned, yeah. did you uh, scam Sir Edward? No, I did not scam him. Yeah. I think that is important to clarify. Yeah. yeah. I did not scam him and also I'm not a scammer the way my name is uh, going viral all over. Yeah. Because somebody, even people who are talking about it, uh, they are talking it for views. People are working for money using my name, they are talking it for views. Some of them, they don't know even. If, we, if somebody could have said that uh, I am a scammer, yeah. then he can come and tell people how we started with this uh, side one. Don't come just tell oh fellow the boys come side with eight million no. No. and you don't know how this eight million even was coming. You don't know even how this eight million has worked. No. You don't know even if is, is this eight million that was sent that uh, uh, which amount was sent on construction, which amount was being sent on gifts, because uh, it's like maybe everything now has been kept together. No. Yeah. All right. Yes. Um, guys, just before. Uh... <laughs> okay. So this is a video by Joint Hands Green Life Trees, okay? You can as well see that fellow the boy has come out to say that he is not a scammer. If you think he is, please go to your own YouTube channel <laughs> and call him that, <laughs> okay? I told you in my own channel, unless I've got the evidence on my face, <laughs> I will come here and call him. Huh? A liar, a scammer, a thief. Until then, guys, I'm listening to both ends of the stories. Everybody is coming out to explain what happened. Zach as well. Zach Discoveries was there and he spoke. I find Zach Discoveries a bit arrogant. I don't know if it's me or not because I've not really watched him, but just the way he was expressing himself, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Could we just calm down, okay? Because I don't know what you're talking about. However, I'm just reading some arrogance in him. Now, fellow the boy is talking about, you know, Mr. Litty. <laughs> hey, Litty, are you the Litty that was supporting me at some time or what? Because I'm not seeing you active lately on any of the reactors, okay? But, fellow the boy is talking about Mr. Litty will regret using a new guy to finish the project. And this new guy is what I am here to address. This new guy, we all know him currently as Mike Ventures. Mike Ventures. How is it that you are the only person learning to just see this project to completion? Where were you when it began? Why are you taking it up now? Are you sure huh, that this project is going to run and will be completed under your hands under your name because seeing as how it has ended with fellow the boy are we sure that you <laughs> will be doing the perfect job and will not be caught in any event 
of even a dollar getting lost and not being accounted for. Like I said, yes, Mike Ventures have had you on my channel. Huh? And guys, if you remember, I told you, if I'm bringing someone to my channel for an interview, for collaborations, or just to have them just talk in my own YouTube space, I'm not endorsing them. I'm not telling you that this is the person to work with. Never. I've told you a million times, use your mind, use your own judgment. Know if this person is worth working with, is worth supporting. I do not want to be held liable. Uh, simply because I was seen walking with who? Mike Ventures. Never. I will not be here to support something that is wrong. You already know that. I will never, ever, ever, ever. So Mike Ventures, how do you learn yourself into getting this post? <laughs> how sure is Mr. Lee T? Uh, will he regret using you to finish his project? That is what fellow the boy is trying to insinuate, okay? And also this point was also talked about by Bosco. Let us listen. I've seen people being swindled. Some have been swindled by their very own relatives because they live outside the country and they keep remitting finances so that they can be assisted. The reason why you chose on fellow is because you are very sure that you are able to be monitoring the progress of your project. But now someone came to you and started feeding you with malice because the information that you should be having right now should be primarily from fellow. But you have information from other sources to a point that you got a better trustee than fellow and commanded fellow to hand you to hand the keys to that trustee who told you that this trustee is better than fellow suppose something worse happens because fellow was very sincere and genuine and showing you everything but now you decided to drop him i believe because of malice because someone must have been coming to you and updating you uh, and you are you are being updated on everything malicious. Maybe they felt that uh, this project is too big and they are smarter and so they have to get it to themselves. So they were smart enough to bring you all sorts of information that could trigger anger in you and make you feel that you've been scammed. I said that yes, maybe you were scammed. Maybe not. But I'm trying to tell you the kind of guy I know and the kind of work he has done for you. He has done you quite a great job. And the house stands there. The property stands there. The piece of land is right there. And he's very clear that he has not transferred it to anyone else. He is holding it in trust for you. But you chose to trust someone else. I can assure you that this might not be a blessing to you. The best you could do is to work with the fellow to the end. He has handled many projects and taken them to the end. This equally was a project that he was going to handle and take it to the end. But you decided to listen to malicious people. People who have never undertaken any projects to the magnitude of fellow. You know the reason why you trusted fellow is because you saw the projects that he, he was handling here and there and how successful they were becoming. But you chose to trust people whose projects we do not know. I don't know what they've accomplished successfully that you can refer to. I don't know how much you know about their stories, their personal stories. I don't know how much testimony you have about them. But this guy here is a global guy that everyone can stand and talk about. So the <laughs> guys there's a lot going on in the streets okay and when i had people bring up mike ventures not of course mentioning his name but talking about this trustee who has now been given the go ahead to finish this project i was like uh, uh is there something that i'm missing is there something that i don't know is that something guys that you know that you should tell me <laughs> because me i wait for videos guys <laughs> My work is to chill, wait for an upload, look at it, <clears throat> try look for my points in there, 
and this day today i was like is there something about mike ventures that i need to know because everybody is not happy with him taking up this project mike ventures are you clean <laughs> mike ventures let me not lie to you okay it doesn't matter how much you've sold yourself on the street as the very good person to work with especially with a project that you undertake because you put down everything you document everything if you mess up in this project and i hope it's something that you've sat down and thought about because if you haven't then hello i'm here to remind you if you don't then you put your name on the line and once people start calling you a scammer thief liar as well you and your kiburanga project <laughs> will be stepped on the ground we are going to be forgetting you you'll be putting your organization number one your organization is going to be on the line and you might end up losing the little or the more that you have i don't know how much you have but everything is going to come to a standstill so be very careful i told you this when i reacted on this video like maybe two three days ago be very careful your story could even be worse than fellow the boys right now your story could come on the limelight and that is going to be affecting your organization that is registered i really do hope that you've thought about it and i want to know why everybody is feeling like you're not the guy you're not fit enough you also have got some corner corner rings is that true if that is true guys please let me know <laughs> <laughs> let me know my work is just simple to react <laughs> then one day when you're just seated down minding your own business those streets just present a story for you to talk about period guys i don't go corner cornering and asking for stories here and there never i wait for you guys to upload and then i'll come here and ask questions and analyze and just think out of the box and just bring out my own opinion because that is who I am right here as on training, okay? So guys, I, worry, I really want to know, I, Wiley, I really want to know, uh, what is it with this guy called Mike Ventures? Do you feel in your own opinion that he is the one who's the malicious guy that is being talked about? Who went corner cornering and wanting to look for a higher position because they saw that this project that fellow the boy was handling was way much bigger and they wanted to have a piece of it? I've told you again, like I said yesterday, YouTube is the problem in your Bohansi. <laughs> and you don't like it. <laughs> it's my own opinion. It's my own opinion. You have yours, go speak about it in your own damn channel. Period. Period. If it's not for YouTube, then the boys in Yabohansi would not be fighting for Donatus. The boys in Yabohansi would not be fighting among themselves in the streets of Yabohansi throwing words around so will you be hiding and going home early because you feel like your life is in danger huh? simply because you cannot come here and react peacefully and say and speak your mind youtube is the <laughs> biggest problem in nyabohansi i stand by what i say guys i say what i say okay and i said prosecute me by what i say but i say what i say if you don't agree you know what to do agree or disagree period if you don't like it go speak it on your own channel i'll say that a million times okay so now i saw masubo one <laughs> he's come back <laughs> he's bring back to come and talk about amzungu huh? who relocated to the village and i absolutely knew that he was talking about gabi verse if you don't know who gabi verse is maybe i put her picture here this is the lady who was given the first clay bath massage by mawira and she was on there moaning and saying do not stop so this lady came back of course after she went back she did come back and one on the street is that she got married to one of the nyabuhanse boys uh, by the name hmm what's his name I'm forgetting his name someone dude okay someone someone dude and uh Masubo one is coming on to say that huh? there's a lady here who is misbehaving in Yabohansi she has a boyfriend and the positions and places that she's been found in are not very good so Masubo one was actually telling Mara to wash off his hands off these Mzungus who are coming back who are in Yabohansi because some are there to stay and taint their name 
And once that happens, we are thinking about Marwa because it's the reason why we saw all these international visitors in Nyabohanse. Gabi Verse, what is it that you're doing in Nyabohanse that is really causing a lot of discomfort? Huh? I understand people fought in this incident that was being reported by my super one and people got injured. Now I saw the boyfriend just post something I think some minutes back to say that oh my wife will be building me a house. <laughs> Who is he to refuse a house from this lady? <laughs> I'm looking at this guy and all his work is just to be cooking around. Let me find his name, guys, okay? His work is just to be cooking around and Gabby Verse is there saying that, oh, I liked the food yesterday. It was so delicious. Oh, my God. My man knows how to cook. In fact, let me just play you a clip, okay? <laughs> so that we're in the same, same building. Huh? Same speed. <laughs> Hello guys, Gabby Verse here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, guys, the other night, um, my babes made the most delicious meal. I took a short video, so I'm going to show you the video. Um, but he made it on the Tico. It's like a little charcoal fire. Um, that really warms up the house in like a spiritual way to me. Like I love the Jiko. More than gas or electricity. And he went to get the fish. We already bought the fish cooked. He made butternut leaves with milk. It was delicious. And noodles and avocado. And we even forgot to show the end result because we were so hungry by the time it was ready. We were just chowing. Um, but anyway, let me show you the video. And it was a delicious meal, so I feel like it's a nice little, I feel like the Jiko is such a beautiful way of cooking. <laughs> oh yeah, this is his name. Let me see. The Bushman Dude. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Let me try this Marwa thing, okay? Can you see the blue there? The Bushman Dude. So the Bushman Dude has been turned into a housewife. <laughs> this guy has been cooking his life away for this Mzungu wife, okay? I remember there's a time she was, when she came back the second time and she was at the villa. And Mara is just passing his, you know, panning his cameras and asking people, you know, to say hello and just to shout out themselves. And he goes ahead and asks her, oh, I hear you are now married in this village. I hear that you're coming back to stay in the village. And she said, yes, she's come back to the village. So she's married there. She's married this guy. I don't know which is which at this rate because this guy is the one doing all the cooking and all the housework. Now, she wants to build this guy a house. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But again, stop misbehaving in Nyabohanse, just like Masuba once said. <laughs> Be a woman. <laughs> Be a woman. Gabby verse. Be a woman. Huh? Behave. That's all you're being told, okay? If you are at all, if at all you're going to be staying in this Nyabohanse, you and your Bushman dude. <laughs> you need to behave yourself. Guys, there's a lot going on about the deaths, the two deaths of the sisters going on. People are speculating. There are people talking about, oh, is this the cult that was being said about the Maras? I do not want to know until I get evidence, okay? Is it also the reason why Dim Wango is not coming back, said she's not coming back because she knew what was going to be going down. It was not going to be ending rosy. These are people talking in the comments section. Please go there and read. I do not know until I come here with evidence, I get evidence, someone says something, that is when we come here and now talk about what has been said on the street. I saw someone like former Issa come to talk about the issue in Nebohanse and how, you know, pay his tributes, of course, to the late heart of Africa spirit because he was to actually go back to her own homeland and start a kitchen garden is it kitchen garden or garden kitchen <laughs> for her but that didn't come to fruition and he was on there speaking his mind and again he touched on this issue of this nebohanse boys fighting themselves in the street of nebohanse and at the end of the video he's talking about oh this is not a reaction video it is a reaction video it is a reaction video 
and it was not madness when people said that now all these youtubers are going to turn into reactors because there'll be nothing else to show <laughs> hey it was a reaction video farmer isa that was a reaction video a hundred percent guys i don't know what you think please leave your comments down below if you don't like what i've said go say it the way you want to say it in your own youtube channels thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed and would love to subscribe please always feel free to do so and i on training will definitely 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 catch you on my next video bye bye Hehehehehehe <laughs>